All right, now to the former Macomb County prosecutor making a deal with the feds. Eric Smith resigned in March after more than a year under investigation. Now we know he's admitting that he played a role in a fraud and cover-up scheme. 7 Action News reporter Jim Kirchner is in Mount Clemens tonight with new information about the secret stairwell conversation at the center of this case. This is really low level espionage. The feds say Smith pulled his two assistants away from their desks, left their cell phones behind, walked into a stairwell with one of them so they could not be recorded. Mr. Smith encouraged at least two assistant prosecuting attorneys who worked in his office to lie to the FBI. In 2012, the feds say Smith raised $55,000 in campaign funds cut a deal with a business associate, supposedly to rent campaign office space, but instead got all the 55 grand kicked back. It was a fraud. That is because Mr. Smith stole money from his campaign account and he used it for his own personal whims. The feds say in 2016, in another scheme, the prosecutor handed over another 20,000 in campaign money to an assistant prosecutor who kicked back 15 and kept five. Smith suggested that he and the assistant prosecutor create a fake consultant contract. In April of last year, the state police raided Smith's prosecutor's office and walked out with boxes of evidence. They later went to work on his house to remove security cameras, allegedly bought with forfeiture funds that were collected by his office in drug and other crimes. Smith was charged in March with 10 counts, including embezzlement and racketeering. Attorney General says you're a mob boss. State charges are still pending against Smith and three others. Smith was prosecutor 16 years. His defense attorney says today in a statement, Smith never traded justice for money. The Macomb County Prosecutor's Office was never for sale under my watch. I acted irresponsibly and recklessly, and I will be held accountable for my actions. As one of Michigan's most prominent law enforcement officials, we intend to seek a prison sentence. Because this is a plea deal, Smith is only looking at one to two years in prison. The feds have not charged the other three, including two assistants who helped Smith steal the campaign funds. In Mount Clements, Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News. All right, thank you so much, Jim. New